Yeah, so yeah, guys, we're about to have an interview with Mr. Mgu. So let's get in contact with him and see if we can get him online. And let's do this. Hold on. Hey, Mr. Mgu. What's up, my guy? I'm good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready for your interview, my guy? I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah, man. Welcome to Zalhood Radio, man. Hey, thank you very much. Um, it's lovely to, to be with you. And yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> ah, you know everything. It's the first time, you know. Yeah. Ne? Yeah. Yeah. So, can you tell our listeners who is Mister Mgu? Okay, let me greet the listeners once again. Um, my name is Tina Mgu. Um, originally I come from the Eastern Cape. And currently, I'm staying in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist. Uh, I'm doing grade 12. I would stay under the artist category. I fall under singing and rapping. Mm -hmm. I'm also a, a concert poet. And, hmm. and yes, I'm also an actor. Uh, it's still that I do a lot of teens in Hollywood as well. And yes. Mr. Mgu comes from the name, from my surname, as you can hear, I said it's Mgu. So mm. Mr. Mgu comes from all, from all. So I just added Mr. and cut it everything and took the first three letters of my, of my surname. Nice. So what can you tell our listeners about your music? Well, I could say my music is much more different from the other hip hop artists I could see mm. in the other artists because more or less I sh um things that I express on my music is things that are happening in real life, things mm. that are also happening into my into my own personal life. Mm -hmm. Such as Ingo and my dad. Such as a song that I'm like, that's, that will be coming up um maybe on my EP on album. I'm not quite sure yet what am I going to release. In, mm. in, in weeks to come, but okay. it's titled Inglungo, and it's more mm. about expressing the pain of the pain of of me being blind, and yeah. So I'm going with my cousin brother that's also blind. There, he's a race Shout out to mm -hmm. him. So yeah. So I express, I do, and sometimes when I feel like there's a uh, there's a situation that needs to be expressed. Mm. Situations such as enterprise violence and the importance of us being us disabled people, um, how much we are important, and mm. yes, everything. And it's, just, it's not always serious, well, sure. sometimes it's also dedicated into love, um, sometimes positive side of the love, sometimes mm. negative side of the love, mm. and yeah, so. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, can you tell us about um, the the single that you have done? I think it's uh, the one. I, I think it's the one that I saw on your status. I can't remember the name of it. It's Namtlange, something like that. <laughs> oh, man, all night. Yes, what yes, I, yes. What I did to go all night. It's not yet out. Yeah, okay. People are pushing me to release it. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I did for open uh, for group all night, I opened, mm. uh, I created an open this challenge that I shared with okay. everybody mm -hmm. to take uh, to take uh, part in it, and mm. it's and then the the, the, the winner of that uh, that verses it will be I'll po I posted the videos. Mm. On, on, t uh, on TikTok and the video mm, that has mm, more mm. likes yeah, will be the person that will be featured on the second verse of the song. Oh, nice. 
Because I yeah. thought... <coughs> and seemingly, it seems mm. like it's gonna be my newest, if my first time, there's um, mm. 220 people who joined. Okay. Three Cosa boys. Okay. Four to three Cosa boys. Mm. So, uh, so the twenty the twenty guy is is is, is, mm. is doing the things on TikTok. Oh, okay. So I wanted to ask you, right, since you you said that um you'll be releasing your EP next month. So um how can the the listeners get your your EP? Be available in all digital platforms, and mm. I truly ask and Pauli asking the listeners. Sure. Yes, you can, you can, you can, you can go and view it on YouTube. But in order for me to earn mm. payments, so mm-hmm. that I could buy new beats and do songs, I need you guys to download the songs because the much more money we get, we gain it from the downloads mm. other than the viewers. Wow. Okay, let's focus to your acting. Um, I just wanna ask you this. Like, when did you start um acting? Well, honestly, I started last year. Okay. And and I've grown up staying that ish. When I'm old, I want anything to do with entertainment. <laughs> funny enough, <laughs> funny enough now, mm. uh, ish, I mean, music, and finally, the first thing that I dreamed of, of being mm. an actor, is Kanani Kanani coming on. And sure. Ish, I've grown a kaya in my house, they usually told me that, hey, we're now, you can't see, we are being there. Mm. So, <laughs> so <laughs> somewhere, somehow, <laughs> sure. But uh, sometimes in life, talk normally. You know what? Let me do this without them knowing. Even mm. if they know, they ain't going to stop me from this. Let me now. I'm singing. I'm shy. I pee. So get a scream. And my pools they go down. These go down. It's yeah. Just to let go. So I mean, you can hear. Anybody can hear that. It's not a person who can see who sing there. You know mm, what I mm, mean? Mm. So, at least I'm getting there. I mean, that entertainment world that yeah. I'm wanting to, to achieve. Sure. So, um, let me ask you on based on your acting. Because I know you started last year. I remember, obviously, we worked together on... I think it was... Uh, I think it was Don't Cry, right? If I'm not mistaken, so no, it was the I don't know, but it was Mam Jomi's one, or the one who was moderated by Mam. Oh yeah, 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 the six week, the six week course. Yeah, <laughs> I, I forgot. I was the teacher who, who was asking this the school the school student out. Sure. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So when were you integrated into um, Don't Cry, um, the drama series? Well, me, I thought, I thought maybe, because I saw the names coming out, and if, uh, to mm. be honest with you, sure. uh, on, the Zollywood, uh, on the Zollywood group, I never thought, like, I was surprised, man, like, because mm. I never, like, usually be in a group, like, it sometimes messages that come in and this time mm. around when I saw oh, Unbreakable Queen releasing the names and groups, I was like, What's happening here? What's happening? Sure. And I saw that I was added on another group group E and it was Mr. Mum Don't Sure. And I said, Yeah, this is how we're going to do and she liked my even my first my first my first scene. I was like, Okay, wow. Mm. If I'm impressing people, then I'm hey, then I'm happy to be myself. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so if I hear you well, um, well, so like, how it was it when you started the first time? Well, 
for me it felt like so it felt like um it's uh, it felt like I'm not doing it right. Sure. I, I, I feel like also into myself like hey, my mom don't be okay saying I'm doing it right. Maybe maybe since I'm a kid he doesn't wanna mm. disappoint me but hey I mean I can feel it in my blood maybe this thing I'm not doing sure. it because right. it's my first time and I think it can never say, never say, Mm. The nerves were were going through my mind, so but I as I listened to it, sure, <laughs> it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, man. And uh, when you heard that, obviously you're going to be doing the six week course. Like, what was it like to do the six week course you with know, other? I um, was very happy. I was jumping up and down. Sure. Because when I got that message, I was at school, and my uh. old teacher was like, "Even I, I mad. What's going on?" With you? <laughs> yeah. You know, guys, you won't understand because me, I'm a quiet person, and I mean, mm. okay, I mean, I'm a polite person. Uh, yeah. Sure. I'm a polite person who just like smiling and keep quiet, and when when I talk, I talk a lot. Sure. And, just, and all of a sudden, I'm a little shady. Boom. I keep mm. quiet again. So I was jumping up and down that day because I was very down and I was jumping up and down, up and down. And then my classmate told me, hey, when I met. And then I said, sure. hi, you will never believe. I showed them the message and then they said, what does this message mean? I'm going to be a drama actor. Look at me. Let us. Sure. You must bow down when you talk to me like a chill. Because I'm an actor now. <laughs> yeah. So, like, when they found out that you are an actor now, like, how do they feel about it? Well, it's normal. Very mm. true. They use that drama. You know, the drama. Between uh. girls and boys. And during that time, sure. there was a drama, a bit of a drama. Mm-hmm. So, but the guys were much more happy for me. And there was, there was this one guy who was like, ah. How do you get these things when I don't, 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 you are using Omo <laughs> tea and everything? Sure. Like, oh, okay, well, I don't give a, I don't give a damn. So, <laughs> the girls, most of the girls were happy for me and the guys, and they even bought me food to, to, to wow. celebrate me. Wow, wow. That's amazing. And, well, I can say, um, like, what made you to decide to join Zollywood? Well, honestly, Zollywood, I was added by LGI. Sure. Um, LGI added me, uh, and I think it was after our first trip mm. together, which is titled Okoloko, and I'm the guy mm. who was doing the work in the first place in Okoloko. Sure. So, what happened is that he was a he, he just added me. He didn't ask me. And mm. I mean, uh, I stay on Google. I don't, I don't, <laughs> yeah. really, I don't really exit on groups. So I was like, sure. okay, let me watch this. And I heard your voices, different voices. And, sure. and I was like, yeah, man, the most voices that I'm hearing are is I want to miss mommy. Yes, I love I will miss mm. mommy, but hey, I'm also scared of, of, of a place with old females. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know to deal with this. Yeah. And I'm usually told that I'm a boring person because uh. uh, there, there are less people who enjoy my jokes and when I ever sure. joke. So I was like, how am I going to interact with these people? But let me stay in. I'll, I'll start by greeting and greeting and greeting. And mm. yeah, I was well, warmly welcomed and mm. I felt like I'm at home and no, I could say a lot. I could write a book about Hollywood because it gave, it gave me Hollywood just gave me yeah. skills that I never knew that I have and mm. the importance that they show me that I'm important to them is sure. much more. And thanks to Mr. Donovan because we started building a, a, a connection with Mr. Donovan after yeah. the other time when I contacted this Queen O. Telling him, mm-hmm. that, no, let me do the advertisement of the of the uh, the awards that we're going to take part that year. Sure. So she was like, 
okay, well, I'm going to talk to Posty. And Posty was even, because I, mean, I started calling him Posty. And mm. he, he even told me, no, don't worry, I, you will come to this. And I will even put you in a place to sleep. And, and if oh. I was like, wow, this guy he doesn't know me much. He only knew me for <laughs> a few minutes, but now he's mm. much more interested in me. And the fact that I was also upgraded from the Hollywood saw the potential of me of taking me up there to the management. Yeah. It was something that was going from that I could never forget in my life. So, well, coming to that of the management, like, how is it like, I mean, like, I know I... Um, we've been working together um, in the management, obviously. So, how is it like um, to be like in the management, especially when it comes to taking over from um, who's this? Um, Mary Wilson. Well, I could say, well, I could say it feels like I'm in a real company. It feels like. Although I'm not going to the building, but it feels like I'm wearing the suit. I'm sitting at my office, mm. I'm around the chair, pressing the computer, mm. and then I'm the phone. So it's a, uh, you know, I think when people say I'm boring, they mean that I'm too much serious. And the serious sure. is okay. Yeah. It shows, yeah, yeah, it's what I need mean and. I mean, something that will help people. Mm. So if there's something that will be medicine to people, I would love to be part of it. So, I mm. mean, yeah, it feels nice for me. It feels really, really nice. <laughs> Honestly, for me, it hurts the fact sometimes when I, I can't attend those meetings. It really hurts because I mm. feel like I'm with my brothers and sisters when I'm with you. Sure. So, yeah, I mean. So, well, this is my final question. So I just want to know, like, if someone doesn't know Mr. Mku, like, what do you describe from that person? Well, Mr. Mku, eh? <laughs> mm. Mr. Mku is a smiling person, I think. Sure. And as much as Mr. Mku is a smiling person, I'm also very calm on another side of it. And mm. I'm hyper and make everyone love. Yeah. I wouldn't love people to be scared to internet. So yeah. And as I said before previously, mm -hmm. uh, most of the time I enjoy being in friendship with females. Why females? Most of the most of guys are full of themselves and me, I feel me myself, me, I have a, I have a little bad meetings where you want to that, so, mm. and then the guys, you know, go on at the, these, those guys who want to act off, and I'm like, mm. I'm, I've went through a lot in life, so I can't sure. even afford to be friends with people who won't understand my situation, and I love, so, most of, not saying that I want to interact with guys who are not interacting with me, but mm, mm, mm. I'm mostly next to girls because girls, you know, they feel, although gay, <laughs> although, <laughs> although, yeah, although, although, like, yeah, girls, I love being on the girl's side most of it. Most of you can see on the phone, you should check on my contact. My contact, most of the time, I check with ladies because I entertain them. You mean, I, yeah. I talk a lot of old shit, you guys. Mean, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, I always talk, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Actually, before, before we end our conversation, actually, I want to make a quiz, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know, um, this song, um, uh, actually it's by Waycliff, um, called 911. So, I don't know, or oh, let me just say, um, uh, which one are you going with? Between, between, um, Waycliff and DJ Mustard, um, bad, uh, is it one bad, um, decision? So which one are you going with? Yo. 
No sé, no No It's tough, man. It's tough, man. Just take a guess. Well, one bad decision, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll play that song afterwards, after recording this. <laughs> so, so yeah. So, um, for bookings, um, how they can find you? Well, for bookings, for now, I can say please email it. Okay. Yeah. Um, email me at. At Mr. Atmukulwa, M G U. Let me rather spell it and I will spell it slowly for people to write it down, maybe. Okay. So it's M G. M G. Mhm. Uh, L W. Mhm. A S. Uh huh. I U. Mhm. Uh, I U Y. Sure. Uh, I L E. Then you put the number one. Mhm. Mm yeah. After the I L E, you put number one at gmail dot com. Wow. Okay. And then can you yeah. Give me a bit of a second. I'm looking for the number, my other number, because I find it. Because I created a WhatsApp number for people to book me. And uh -huh. I would love you. I would appreciate to be booked. And I think I'm coming to Pretoria next month once again. Hey, which side, my guy? Which side? Yeah, I think I don't know why, but I think social media loves me a lot. I don't know why this. Ah, when I go to Barata, go social media muse. I think maybe, maybe, maybe I that's that's where oh my. My future wife is. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say Mummy Lodi, by the way. But it's okay. Okay, so my number is 074. For sure. Uh huh. 464. Mm hmm. 72. Mm hmm. 52. Let me repeat it again for the listeners. 074. Four six four seven two five two. You can just leave the message and information, and now when I log into that number, I will immediately maybe call you back and discuss everything. But I would love to be to be booked by you guys. I would love to interact with everyone who's on the office or all the listeners. Mm. Yes, tell your friends, friends. Other friends of friends, I'm about to release an EP on Alpha and there's an artist mm. called Instinct. You can also stay on my Facebook, Tinama Mkuda, T H I N A M A space M G U D L W E. On TikTok, I'm Mr. Mkuda 19 and you will see me and you will see <laughs> my videos and the songs on me. Yeah. And the that I did in social media on group. Yeah, man, it was nice to talk to you, my guy. And um, Thank you very much. yeah, man, it's been an honor, man, to to be with you, my guy. And yeah, man, good luck with everything that you do, my guy. And um, catch you on the flip side, my guy. Yeah, thank you. I just wanna send a shout out to my girlfriend. Uh, her mom is listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's yeah. Sure. So I want to send a shout out to her because her mom is listening and thanks mother and you for listening. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. I I I'm sure they're hearing that shout out, you know? Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah man, we will catch much. up later, my guy. Thank you very much. Sure. 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 So yeah, man, that was the interview that we had with Mgu, or should I say Mr. Mgu. So yeah, man, um, this was the interview 
on the Midnight Express. Let's do this. So let's do this. Let's do this. Hold on. So something is not doing. The lavish lunch with Unbreakable Queen. Thank you for joining me, honey. <laughs>